Hi everyone, so I've been going through the equipment and sorting, sorting it all out today. I have come across all the stuff we have found on our litter picking um, outings. So let's have a look at the old dated crisp packets, for example. So we got we got this one. And the date of it is 2019. And then we got cheese and onion crisps, 2022. And then we have uh, cheese puffs, cheese puffs with the day 2021. A little bit ripped at the back. They must have enjoyed them. And then we have Space Invade Space Raid Raid Raiders? Raiders, that's it. Space Raiders 25p 2018 these ones were. Packet doesn't look too good. But you can still clearly see what it says. And then we have Walkers Ready Salted. Oh. Anyway, it says 2020. And then we got Ready Salted Crispy Fries. 2020. 21 these are packet looks pretty decent and now we're getting to the the most dirty ones that's why I've got the black bag on the bed uh, let me see what the date of these are okay so 2015, this packet of chewits. And now we have got crinkles, cheddar and cheddar and onion. 2011 packets ruined and then we have oh this is called hunt the hoops so hula hoops with the date 2005 2005 and then we have another cheese and onion packet from 2018 and then the last crisp packet we have is another Hula Hoops 2002 this one is and then we have for all you chocolate lovers out there we have Maltesers the date on these is 2008 2008 so it kind of shows us that even though we're going out and we're doing the litter picking we still have to be aware of what we're doing with the litter we are dropping because looking at such as the chewits 2015 
it doesn't just go away. It you know it stays in the it stays on it stays in the world for a very long time. Like if you look at paper, that takes two to six weeks to you know to go, and then cardboard that takes three months. Orange peel takes two years. Chewing gum takes five years. Plastic wrappers takes five years. Cigarette butts, they can take ten years to to go, you know, to break down. And then we got plastic bags takes ten to twenty years. Wet wipes. They take a hundred years. And then we got aluminium cans. Takes two hundred years. Two hundred years. And then we got nappies. Nappies take four hundred and fifty years. Two hundred and fifty years. And then we got... Fishing lines, they take 600 years. Plastic bottles, which I've got one down on my floor, they take between 100 and 1,000 years to go. I mean, wow. Like I said, it just shows, it, you know, when we... Just chuck things away. It's not gone forever. It's still here. We have to do the right thing. We have to put the rubbish in the bin. So it can be broken down. Into other things. So then. It's saving animals getting hard. It's you know. It's making the environment look better. And. That's, that's really the main thing. That we have got to. Really, you know, really think about. Litter picking is fun. It's great to do with your friends, your family. It's it's good for your mental health, your physical health. There is so many beneficial things you can get from doing litter picking. And to all the kids out there that think it's not fun, and all the people that think it's, not, you know, an obsession that I have that, Oh, it's just litter picking. Oh, you know, this and that. All the litter picking people that go out and make our town look better. And we need that. We need to be all coming together and making the environment around us looking so much better. At the moment, we have a lovely town. And... We just need to cooperate with each other a bit more. I'm going into town and I'm seeing the seating area outside Sainsbury's covered with rubbish. I'm seeing the stairway, stairways in Sainsbury's going up to the car park. Litter there. We need to start using the bins more than what we are already. Some people are, some people aren't. But we just need to encourage others to follow the example. Going on to the these glass bottles I found while we're at, while I've been out with the volunteers. This bottle has deposit 3D on the bottle top lid. And it's R whites. I can't remember how old it was again. I think it was something like 1950s or something. Um we'll have to confirm that. Uh, look into it a bit more, but uh, yeah, just look at it. It's it's still in good, you know, in good shape. Yeah, and then we got another one. It's uh, deposit charge six p on this bottle. It says on the top. Um, this time it hasn't got any other markings on it, so I can't tell what it is but anyway my point is 
just look at look at it. It's still pretty good. It's being cleaned, so I'm touching it. Obviously, I'm gonna wash my hands after. But yeah, it looks it looks amazing. But yeah, it just shows when you go out litter picking, it's fun. It can be fun. And it's not a punishment. Right now on to the newspapers. The litter picking all started really by watching watching the news. And while we're in lockdown, I wanted something positive to focus on. And I just was like, okay, fair enough. You know, I'll grab a litter picker and I'll go out and do some picking. And I was like, you know what, I've actually really enjoyed doing this. So I carried on, I carried on and I carried on. And I was like, you know, let's get more people involved. And that is what I've done. I've got more people involved. I've, I'm have i a founder of the Bista Litter Pickers group. I created one in Banbury. I'm recently doing one in Killington as well this summer. I started it last last summer, but it didn't really go anywhere. But it's fine. We're, we're going to stick with it and we're going to keep going. In 2020, this is what the bins look like at the park and ride. The newspapers, when they go into the newspaper, all the articles, I do my best and I try and keep the newspapers because it shows the progress that we are making as part of a group. I, I managed to get those bins sorted. And then we got uh, G's, you know, G's nightclub. Well... There was like loads of you know like loads of fly tipping around there, and we made we managed to sort that out. So here's another one. But yeah, and then the final one is um, the Villiers Road recycle bins. That's in the newspaper as well, and I've kept that. I've kept, like I said, I've kept many more newspapers i've been in we've been in many more but but in this in this box i've got which is holding the phone up this is where all this stuff has been it's been in a nice little folder this little folder here and that's what i've been keeping it in the sweet you know the wrappers and the newspapers and then the glass bottle obviously in the box but yeah i just want to share that with you guys and i want to try and encourage more people to come out and do some picking because I've set up the collaborations and it'd be, you know, with the big local businesses, let's, let's, you know, let's come together. Let's do some picking. But, uh, yeah. Please let me know what times and days are best suited for you to come out and do some litter picking. It'd be great to know this so then i can try and get many more coming out and doing some picking have a good night yeah